now The end is near So I face The final curtain My friend I'll say it clear I'll state my case Of which I'm certain Oh do you know what, I was just reading about this guy, uh, this um, this Elvis bloke who's on the run. He's been he's been arrested. He's been arrested now, and um, it reminded me when uh, we were just talking about doing Bird, as mm. uh, and uh, I was just saying that I I've, I've actually in my life it's not something I particularly share or talk about. Am I meant to be doing something now, Steve, other than just talking away? I'm fine. Yeah, I'll do. Okay, we'll do women the preview in a second. But I do you know something. I once I once for for but nearly a month I once shared a cell with an Elvis impersonator for a whole month. <laughs> Um, do you keep going in the routine? Yeah. Oh, was that, no, 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 quite no, good? No, no, because at first time I was sort of sitting in the corridor and he sort of walked past. I didn't know he was about to be my cellmate. I, I didn't know we were going to have that pleasure. And uh, and um, he walked past and he was dressed exactly like he was dressed like he, was, he had his, all his hair and everything like the kid. Did he have his collar up on his yeah, prison, yeah, he did, prison uh, uniform? Yeah, yeah, he did. He had his uh, For some reason also, he managed to pull out a pair of flared prison trousers. Nobody asked him if he got any flares left in the old days. He's walking along and I just went, hey, it's the king. And he didn't even catch my eye, he just went, uh-huh. <laughs> As he's walking along. Anyway, um, but I had this guy in there, you know, for a month, and he was teaching me the rudiments and theory. Of Elvis impersonation. Of Elvis impersonation, of how anyone can do it. And he says there's only three sounds you need to do an Elvis impersonation. There's only three sounds. That's the one you just did? Uh -huh. no, 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 that's not one of the essential sounds. The essential sounds. And he wouldn't let me move on until I'd learned it was a nightmare. He was living out some kind of jailhouse rock fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> he really was. He got like, a prison on purpose. Yeah, just, just so he part of the purple I think he wanted us all to start doing a routine around yeah. the place. He was really into it. And, um, <laughs> And he's a, I was the youngest guy in there. It was, it was a method Elvis. He was yeah, like a method that. Elvis, exactly right. He was like, the, he was like the, yeah, I think he saw me as like, you know, kind of, I don't know, his punk. He was and channeling um, Elvis. Well, because the Jailhouse Rock is the guys who wrote it, Lieber and Stoller, they wrote it uh, uh, out of revenge to Elvis and his team. Um, because if you listen to the words, um, you know, like number 47 said to number three, you're the cutest, cutest jailbird jail, I ever did see. I sure would be delighted with your company. Come on and do the jailhouse rock with me. Essentially, the jailhouse rock is their revenge because it's obviously what a couple of fellas are up to in there, which certainly me and this Elvis guy weren't. But the jailhouse <laughs> rock was written as a revenge thing. So what were the three If you noises? can't find a part, they use a wooden chair. It's quite <laughs> hardcore. Anyway. Did you have a wooden chair? No, I didn't have a wooden chair. I didn't trust everybody's method. You had a partner then? Anyway, the, no, I didn't have one. Anyway, this guy. But he taught me the rudiments and theories of it. Essentially, the three noises you need, you need, and, and he wouldn't let me move on mm. in these sounds. He, he wouldn't let me learn he, them. he made me learn them. The first one was... Whoosh. What's that? Whoosh. Horse. No, I don't know. It's just... Whoosh. <laughs> whoosh. And he goes, actually, no, I'll tell you, the first one he said, he says, the first thing he got to say is, how, he says, how would Elvis Presley pronounce the word Memphis? I want you to think about that very carefully, John. Where was he from? Yeah, from Leicester. He says, how would he pronounce that? I think G I know. Giving you, the, giving you the sounds you now know. Now, the sounds he taught me up to then were, the first sound was, wow, 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 <laughs> wow. And that's it for us. He goes, wow. no, no, no. He goes, go, wow, <laughs> wow. And the second sound he taught me was, whoosh, whoosh. He goes, now, bearing that in mind, how would Elvis pronounce the word Memphis? I've gone... And I've started sort of going, mumbles, mumbles. He goes, he goes, no. It's using those two sounds exactly how you and I would say the word mouse. Listen. Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> that was his point. Mouse. Where are you from? Mouse. <laughs> that was the way he figured. Mouse. And I sat there for hours just going, mouse. <laughs> Honest man, often. Mouse. <laughs> and he just, that was it. But that was my word for the weekend. I just had to sit there doing it. Anyway, is that guy safely under lock and key now? Who? The Elvis Presley guy. Yeah, the guy who was being sought for um, some incident with some firearms is now being arrested. Well, I hope it's not the same guy. Anyway, listen, um, let's go over to... Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Are, you, are we going somewhere good? Uh, when you come back, I want to ask you about what you were just yeah. talking about, Elvis. Yeah. The, well, the Elvis guy, yeah, because eventually I, I got quite high level to it. You know, I, got, I really got to be quite high level Elvis in person. you get to a, a, yeah. a brown belt. Did you... Did yeah, you... I, got, I got to like, yeah, brown belt, brown, yeah, so brown belt Elvis, which sounds... Oh, 48. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this guy, right, so there's this Elvis impersonator out about there. just reminded me of the fact I'd shared a cell with an... Well, I was about 22. I shared a cell with this Elvis impersonator. How did that go? Did you enjoy that month? No, it was not a good month. No, it drove me mad because he wouldn't let me move on with the sound effects. So he we kept started making you study. Yeah, so it started off with the wow, wow, wow. I tried at home, wow, wow. And so he, then, he, then he had me on the wow, 
and then mouse. And then he told me that, you, that Elvis said the word mouse. Memphis as you and I would say the word mouse. So I was just going, mouse. No. Mouse. <laughs> mouse. <laughs> mouse. <laughs> then he said, you put a slight b bounce in it to get the full Memphis effect. So it becomes mouse. Mouse. <laughs> mouse. <laughs> mouse. <laughs> then he taught me the last sound. He said, this one's the one I'm really trusting him with, which was... <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, so I was having to do these sounds together, and then eventually I'm going, whoosh, I'm going, whoosh, 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 and then finally I've got to do a lot. Thanks, James. Cheers. Kids are listening. Cheers. Anyway, um. So uh, he's, he's finally, he's taught me the last, um, you know, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the line, he says, I've got your line, he says, it's from my way, and you're, the line you're going to do is, the end is near. Yeah? He's, you're going to go to the end is near, yeah, and you're going to, and so I face, and so I face, and you'll be able to use all three sounds. So I've got there, and I've got onto the, I am so I face, I am so I face, I am so I face, and then the very last thing he taught me, he says, listen to the way Elvis does tea in curtain. Listen to that, mate. Listen to the way he says tea in curtain. We, he made me listen to it again and again on this little Walkman thing. And all he was listening to was, he, he, after the, I am so I face, it's a final curtain. <laughs> he really pronounces <laughs> the T. He, he really goes with the T. Curtain. A final curtain. Curtain. But he had me doing it for a whole day of my life. I just spent going, curtain. <laughs> Please leave me alone. <laughs> he goes, You're not doing it right. You're not doing it. Oh, so, do right, it I'll again. Try it again. <laughs> curtain, curtain. Uh, anyway, that guy, he has been caught apparently. This <laughs> Elvis impersonator. <laughs> it's not, not, not the one you're talking about. And it's not the same guy. No, that I had the pleasure. Of. Actually, actually, he was in. Um, he was in for. Uh, um, um, I think he attacked his mother-in-law on Mothering Sunday. But in the end, the judge let him go, uh, saying, "This man has suffered enough." <laughs> so there you go. Um, <laughs> that's absolutely that's true right. story. Yeah, it is true, yeah. <laughs> she provoked yeah. him. This man, yeah, because every time his mother in law came around, he used to have to hide in the attic. His mother in law hated him so much. And now the end is near. So I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. <laughs> <laughs>